How many rak'ats of, of taraweeh, of witr, of qiyam? The fact of the matter, brothers and sisters, the fact of the matter is that our Prophet Muhammad وسلم, did not assign any number. He left it open to whatever you wanted to do. A Bedouin came to him and said, O Messenger of Allah, how do I pray tahajjud? So he said, Mathna, mathna, fa'idha khashita subh, faqumta wa autarta. When you, you pray two rak'ah, two rak'ah, then when you think it's almost fajr time, then you pray your witr. Right? So he told him, two rak'ah, two rak'ah. He didn't say 8, 16, 20, 36. Sadly, some Muslims, they get overzealous about the quantity of rak'at. Right? And it is a trivial matter. Who prays 8? Alhamdulillah. He who prays 20? Alhamdulillah. He who prays 200? Alhamdulillah. More important is not the quantity, but rather the quality. The quality, which, which means khushur and tilawa, and you make sure you're paying attention, this is far more important. Our Prophet ﷺ did not emphasize the quantity of, 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 of raka'at, even though, generally speaking, Aisha says in Sahih Bukhari, that he would generally pray around 11 or 13 raka'at every night, so that's 8 plus 3 or 2 after Isha, so 13 means uh, the 2 raka'at after Isha that they pray, that we pray the sunnah for Isha, as you know, and then they add 11. This was his habit, that he would pray around 11 typically. However, he never told anybody to pray only 11. And therefore, one evening, uh, this is where we get taraweeh from, the last year of the Prophet's life, he came out to pray his tahajjud in Ramadan. And he's leading and the people were praying. So they said, why don't we pray behind the Prophet So instead of praying individually, they started praying behind him. News spread in the city, and so the second day the masjid was almost full. And it was not an adhan, there were no people that were called, they just knew that the Prophet was praying, we might as well join him. So the masjid was almost full, they prayed with the Prophet ﷺ. The third evening the masjid was jam-packed, because they were waiting for the Prophet to pray taraweeh. Instead he prayed at home, and he didn't come out. And they waited, waited, waited until Fajr. When he came out at Fajr, he said, I knew that you were waiting for me outside. I wasn't asleep, I was praying, I knew you were waiting. However, I did not want to give the impression, or I did not want a revelation to come that made this prayer wajib for my ummah. I wanted to leave it sunnah. And I was worried if I came regularly, that people will think that it is wajib. And so, out of love for us, so as not to make Islam difficult, our Prophet wasallam did not come out that night, and then he passed away that year. That was his last Ramadan. So in the Khilaf of Abu Bakr radiallahu an, the Sahaba would pray individually on their own. They, 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 they went with the older customs of what the Prophet would do. And one day in the Khilaf of Umar, he came into the masjid and he saw small groups everywhere. So he said, why is everybody split up? Why don't we have an official jama'ah, let's say, let us all come together. And so he started the congregation that we now call Taraweeh. And in the beginning, it was 11 rak'at. And then he decided that to make things easier, not everybody can pray so long. He made it 20 rak'at plus witr. So Umar ibn al-Khattab was, is where we get the number 20 from. Therefore, there's no problem if you pray 20. Because Umar radiallahu anhu wanted to do 20. Why? Because maybe some people cannot stay the whole 3-4 hours back then. So he gets it shorter. Every 2 rak'at is shorter to make this taslim, right? So maybe you can stay for half an hour, 45 minutes. When you have... Taslim, after every two rak'ah, you're praying less amount of Qur'an, so it becomes easier for the congregation. As for us, we are only praying for an hour and a half, right? Umar would pray for three hours. So if you're praying for three hours, to have a break every 20 minutes or so, every 15 minutes with two rak'ah is useful. As for us, we're only praying for an hour and 15 minutes. So for us, it doesn't make sense really to have 20. That would mean every 30 seconds we're going up and down. Rather, the quality of the ruku' and the sujood is more important. So we have decided to stick with eight. But as we said, the, the number is really irrelevant.